much plastic can we find in the grocery store? To Metro, which is an international food store. We thought we would take the video camera along to show you what it's like to shop in China. And then tomorrow we're going to shop at a Chinese grocery store and get groceries for the week. So we'll show you what we can get in an international food store and show you the prices. And then tomorrow we'll show you what you can get in a Chinese food store and show you the prices for those as well. Yeah. Ni no. hao. walk in the warmer weather or um, we take our like bike or scooter but right now our bike <laughs> needs a charge so we took a taxi otherwise it's like an hour walk I think it opens at 6 a.m. are you ready Ben <laughs> oh and right now it's Christmas so there's Christmas things you can get anything from like bedding to food here and a lot of stuff is imported So we need wine and usually you see the Jacobs Creek, you see a lot of Australian wine and South African wine and chili wine. So right now this is a pretty good price, like 88, that's probably like $13 Canadian. These things are a lifesaver because when you're washing your clothes here, it's usually in cold water and the water kind of makes your clothes smell stale. So this has saved us so much this is my favorite place <laughs> because I can get sour cream and onion chips and sometimes you can even get salt and vinegar but this year I haven't found any barbecue flavor um, some people like the lime or cucumber flavor chips not for me though <laughs> $25 for coffee Imported from Italy, some so like at the metro they'll do the price and then where they're importing from. Two forty-five. That's fifty dollars. Thousand grams. If you're looking for a cheaper option, I know you can do the Nescafe like packets. Um, you need like oh you can get Maxwell House too. This one is good, I, I like but it's still, it's $30, almost $30 for Maxwell House. This is imported from Thailand and it is almost 20 kwai, which means that is $5. Yeah, $5 for a box and 190 grams for that. I think a $5 box at home would be a family size. And honestly, we bought one. When you open it, it's like one bowl worth. You can get giant buckets of tomato ketchup. You can get like steak, pepper sauce, pizza sauce, pasta sauce, ketchup. We're looking for Frank's. Oh yeah. I got two. Um, you can get relish. Then all your like herbs are here. And they're always in the same packaging for some reason. And it's really difficult to find like real parsley, like it's not dried parsley. <laughs> now for my favorite part, we found bread. And gingerbread houses. <laughs> Are you ready to leave? What is this? Original flavor dry meat floss. So that's it, we're done. Our metro grocery shop, we got everything we needed and it still costed a thousand kwai, which is $200.
but everything's imported so that's why it's so expensive so we'll compare it to a grocery shopping for a week um, in a Chinese grocery store It's like herbs and butter and, mm. like and then this is the Xi'an Ice Peak which is like their orange soda that's um, from this city, right? Yeah. Felt some yum. Mm -hmm. so good. It's cabbage noodles with it's meat. You can see like little bits of meat here. Um, some egg. Mm -hmm. And then like a couple spices and onion, lots of oil. And usually you can eat this like ciabatta bun bread that they call bing. And uh, usually they give you some noodle broth to drink it down with. It's delicious. <laughs> so when we usually go for lunch, <clears throat> this is what it looks like at the end of it. I'm completely finished. She's barely done anything. But it will be empty because you're gonna eat mine too. <laughs> Oh my god, we found white onion. I've never found white onion. And last time we picked up sweet potato, it was white. I think that's the white one, and then this is the orange one. And Ben threw it out thinking it had gone bad. <laughs> I'm actually really oh. happy with that, <laughs> with that um, market. We used to go to another one, but then we stopped going because uh, it didn't seem so fresh. But this one was really good. I would go back there. And it's so cheap. Everything that we got costed us 30 kwai, which is $6. It's crazy. What? So happy. <laughs> Aren't they crab apples? Mm -hmm. they're so good. Maybe they're not even apples. <laughs> so I'm getting apples, but I just noticed that like they're each individually wrapped in plastic. China. All the lemons are individually wrapped by twos. Plastic. Plastic, plastic, and you have to put them in a plastic bag. They won't let you just hand them to them. It's great for the environment. This video is going to be turned into a, how much plastic can we find in the grocery store? They have like this section for all the spices and dried fruits and stuff like that and eggs 
They have the produce section, of course, and then they have the meat section. And then they also have like the deli and um, the dried noodles. Oh, these are frogs. They're actually really tasty. They taste like chicken, but um, I just can't really get over the fact that I'm eating frogs, but otherwise it's really tasty. There's uh, lots of fish, but a lot of them are dead. <laughs> Turtle. And then these are all your oils and salts, sugars, MSG, spices. So you can get like pepper, um, the very popular one that's really tasty for Chinese spices is the five spice. And then also the Sichuan pepper powder. Sichuan pepper is the numbing pepper that you can get in like Chengdu. You can also get like hot pot seasoning. So it'll come like this and you just put it in your pot at home. This is the international section. So you get like ketchup, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise. Most grocery stores, like Chinese grocery stores that we see, we have a lot of these little snacks. And I never see anyone in here. This is like, I don't know dried meats you have chocolate cookies crackers dried meats dried fruits these are good like little rice cakes or rice crackers yeah there's so many aisles of just snacks versus at home we have canned food so they don't really do like canned corn or canned beets or whatever big cheese <laughs> the cheese that they have available, processed cheese, I don't really know what this one is, um, original, yeah, it's butter, this butter, 34 kwai, is $7. Okay, so our grocery shopping is done and we just wanted to show what like grocery shopping is in China because when you think of Chinese grocery shopping you think of markets or outdoor markets or whatever and we just wanted to show that you can get things from home you can get um, market foods or you can just go to a grocery store you can't always get the same things back home but you can definitely find alternatives it's easy for shopping here it can be cheap it can be expensive and I hope you like this video. What?